Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. On the eve of the 15th anniversary of the declaration of the National Council of Western Armenia, New Turkey Patriot criticizes U.S. Senate genocide resolution. 5,000-year-old fast stones of the Yanagert targeted by thieves. The Erebuni Historical Archaeological Museum Reserve will have a new building. After a year of work with our founding members of the National Council of Western Armenia, in particular Raj Pelibosyan, Guy Khachanyan, Nunik Norhadzian, Brigitte Noda and all the others, after a day and night meetings, translations, research and studies, endless telephone calls with Armenia and Artsakh, we have decided on November 8, 2004 to declare about the existence of the National Council of Western Armenia. We decided to declare it in Shushi on December 17, 2004. Also on this day, December 17, 2004, in the presence of Komitas Danielian, Ashad Balayan, General Vitali Balasenyan, Colonel Vachagan Ishanyan, we were in front of the Ghazan Chetzos Cathedral in Shushi, accompanied by several fighters, members of organizations of fighters of Artsakh, of which I was the official representative representative at the time, and we have read together the official declaration. Then we met with the colonel Vachagan Ishanyan to celebrate this declaration the same day. Several personalities who could not be present at the ceremony called us from Europe, United States, Russia, the Middle East, Javak, the Republic of Armenia, Artsakh, and Western Armenia. Nearly 50 people formed the core of the National Council of Western Armenia. The National Council of Western Armenia is 50 years old now. 15 years of the combat service and resistance for Western Armenia and its people, marching with our two pillars, our autochthony and the state of Western Armenia recognized by the old powers. The National Council of Western Armenia has encountered extraordinary men and women along the way, and also quite the opposite. For example, the late statement made by Sahak Mashalian, which claims that the recognition of the genocide against Armenians from 1915 to 1923 by the United States Senate is immoral. Here I recall that this recognition corresponds almost entirely to Article 11 of the Constitution Declaration of the National Council of Western Armenia, which specifies that the National Council wishes to support the duty to carry out international recognition of the genocide against Armenians from 1894 to 1923 done by successive Turkish governments on its territory at the time of the occupation. Also, as the President of the National Council of Western Armenia on the eve of the centenary of Treaty of Cyrus, in memory of the suffering of my people, I, in my turn, declared the declarations of Sahak Mashalian immoral, putting under question the U.S. Senate's recognition of the genocide against Armenians that took place in occupied Western Armenia from 1915 to 1923. And I asked Monsignor Sahak Mashalian to apologize to all the Armenian nation and to resign immediately. I call on all Armenians around the world to face together the treachery of successive Turkish governments. This will be the best way for the Armenian nation to express its disavowal of the genocidal policies of Turkey and so to begin the commemoration of the centenary of the International Peace Treaty signed in Cyrus in 1920. Armena Kabramian, President of the National Council of Western Armenia. The U.S. Senate resolution that recognized the genocide against Armenians was an immoral move set on Saturday the so-called newly elected Armenian Patriarch Bishop Sahak Mashalian as it aimed to corner Turkey over the Armenian issue. Such things should not be taken seriously, Mashalian said on an interview with Turkish daily Sabah. There is nothing that pertains to us directly that we should get involved with, he said in relation to the resolution approved by the U.S. Senate. As Armenians, we are saddened to see the sufferings that took place on this land's hundred years ago be used by parliaments of foreign countries as a tool for strategic economic political pressure, Sahak Mashalian mentioned. We see it as an inappropriate situation against our ancestors, Mashalian said he had hoped the people in Turkey could resolve issues themselves and Turkey and Armenia could improve their relations. When the two sides cannot talk, third parties, fourth parties, those overseas claim a right to speak, he said. All of these are issues we should handle, but since this is postponed, it is used as a leverage to pressure Turkey he said. I do not find this to be very moral, Sahak Mashalian mentioned. The 5,000-year-old fence stones of Tigran Agert, Western Armenia, listed in the UNESCO World Heritage List, are among the world's unique structures and have recently been frequently targeted by thieves. The building is 5 kilometers long and 12 meters high, which will delight and interest visitors. The thieves sell stones belonging to ancient times and incomprehensibly prized, which provoked anger from citizens. The fences of the city of Tigran Agert are unique in the world. They are the second longest after the Great Wall of China and the first in the height and width. 
At the Boonie Historical and Archaeological Museum, Rizal will have a new building equipped with the new technologies. Yerevan Municipality approved the cooperation agreement signed on October 3, 2019. According to the Information and Public Relations Department of the Yerevan Municipality, the building equipped with the modern technologies will be harmony with the architecture, but at the same time with innovative technologies. The exhibition hall will be equipped with modern technologies that shall demonstrate to visitors different areas of Yerevan's history. Visitors will also get acquainted with the history of Yerevan through visual tours. Scientific laboratories are planned to be opened in this area. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Nubar Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.